The largest and most striking Mayan ruin site in the Puk Hills of the Yucatan Peninsula is Uxmal. Only a small portion of Uxmal has been excavated and fixed up, but what is not covered in jungle and lush green vegetation is beautiful. It is thought to have been the capital of the Puk region and had an estimated population of around 15,000 people. According to Maya Chronicles, Uxmal was established by the dashing Hun Utsil Chak Tutul Chu. What a mouthful. For some time, this city, ruled by the Shu family, was the most powerful place in the western Yucatan. While it was allied with Chichen Itza, located somewhat to the west, the two cities comprised one of the most dominant forces in the entire northern Maya area. Over time, Chichen Itza fell, and the Shu family relocated to Mani, and the population of Ushma fell as well. Around that time, which was 1000 CE, Toltec invaders took control of the city and may have messed with the buildings a bit, but construction generally stopped 100 years later. When Spanish conquistadors took on the Yucatan, the Shu family decided to ally with the guys with guns. Around that time, which was in the 1550s or so, Uxmal was still inhabited, but no Spanish town was built there, and the city was, for the most part, abandoned soon thereafter. The next notable historical point for the site came in 1838, when French antiquarian, explorer, and cartographer Jean-Frédéric Waldeck published a detailed account of the ruins. In the 1840s, English artist and architect Frederick Catherwood and American explorer, writer, and diplomat John Lloyd Stevens made a couple of extended visits to Uxmal. Catherwood supposedly took a great number of plans and drawings of the ancient city, hoping to someday reconstruct it, but most of them has since been lost. In 1863, Empress Carlota of Mexico visited the site. One particularly hilarious detail of this event is that, in anticipation of this distinguished and delicate Victorian feminine guest, the local authorities had a bunch of statues and architectural features depicting phallic themes removed. Ushmal got another royal visit in 1975, when Queen Elizabeth II stopped by to inaugurate a fancy sound and light show. A funny detail about this visit is that at the moment the sound system played the Mayan prayer to Chuck, the clouds ripped open and dumped a terrible downpour of rain, despite the fact that this event took place in the middle of the dry season, soaking all the important visiting dignitaries, which included a descendant of the Shu family. Oh, that mischievous Chuck. Now, in addition to having an interesting history, Ushmal has some amazing architecture. Let's have a look at that. One of Ushmal's distinguishing characteristics is its beautiful examples of Puk-style architecture, named for the hills in which the city was located. In addition to being visually interesting, this architecture is a bit more sturdy than that of other areas, which means that Ushmal was in much better condition than some of its neighbors when people arrived to restore it. The benefit here is that, unlike with other sites, you can actually get a pretty accurate idea of what the buildings actually looked like in their original state. The most striking ruin on the site is known, depending on who you ask, as the Pyramid of the Dwarf, the Pyramid of the Magician, and the Adivino. Ancient Mayan folklore has it that the Dwarf of Uxmal built the pyramid overnight during a series of challenges issued by Uxmal's king. This challenge was just one of several in an ongoing struggle between the king's strength and the power of magic, which was orchestrated by the dwarf's witch mother. Out there? Absolutely. Cool? You betcha! There are several quadrangles in Uxmal, the most famous of which is known as the Nunnery Quadrangle. It totally wasn't a nunnery, by the way. Those crazy Spaniards. Now, this area originally acted as a governmental palace. A long, low building on the site, known as the Governor's Palace, is famous for having one of the longest pre-Columbian facades in Mesoamerica. Uxmal also houses a ball court, as well as impressive temples and monuments, including the South Temple, North Long Building, Grand Pyramid, House of the Doves, House of the Birds, and House of the Turtles. Very creative, guys. Uxmal is approximately 78 kilometers south of the city of Merida, about an hour and 15 minute drive away. If you're anywhere close to the ruined site, I highly recommend stopping by.